Hello Sagittarius, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts. Welcome to my channel. This is going to focus on the second half of January, 16th through the 31st. Want to wish all of you a very happy new year. I hope it's going well for you so far. Um, also a reminder that there is still time to submit entries for the free reading giveaway. And the deadline to do so is the 31st of this month. So if you're interested, absolutely turn in your submissions um, for consideration. All right, guys. So the reading that I will be doing for you today, Sagittarius, is how do they feel about you? So focusing on the energies of the divine masculine as well as the divine feminine and um, how they perceive what's going on in the connection. All right, guys. So it is general as always. It will not resonate with everyone so if you're interested in booking a personal private session with me all that information is down below this video all right Sag. so let's go ahead and get started let's go ahead and focus first on the energies of the divine masculine and see where he's coming from at this time so focusing on the second half of january so angels and spirit guides please bring forward your messages for my Sagittarius viewers at this time for my divine masculine. What is going on in his mind, his heart, his world? How does he perceive his connection with his divine feminine? How does he perceive the status of his affairs at this time? All right, so Divine Masculine Energies for Sagittarius. Please bring it forward, angels, spirit guides, for Sagittarius, Divine Masculine. We're starting off with a firm foundation, guys, for the Divine Masculine. So that is Four of Pentacles. Okay, let's move on. Okay, we also have The Waiting Game coming through here so it's picking up off of the two of wands energy we also have the sacrifice card coming through here which in the traditional tarot deck guys that is the hanged man okay so that's falling onto the side of the divine masculine let's pull one more all right we've got balance coming through here so the balance card in traditional tarot is the justice card and it is picking up off of libra energy so sag perhaps you've got libra in your chart uh, for my Divine Masculine and or you are connecting with someone who is a Libra. All right, so let's continue. So focusing now on the energies of the Divine Feminine and where she's at at this time in regard to the connection. Okay, she's got foundation and achievement. So focusing on the energies of the Four of Wands. Let's pull some more for the Divine Feminine what's going on in her mind and heart at this time and her perception of her divine masculine. Please bring it forward, angels and spirit guides. Okay, we've got transformation coming through here, guys, for the divine feminine. So this is picking up off of Scorpio energy and this is the death card in traditional tarot. We've also got heartache and loss on the divine feminine side. So coming through with the three of swords energy there. One more card, please. Angels and spirit guides for my divine feminine for Sagittarius. One more card, please. All right, we've got patience and planning coming through. Picking up off of the seven of pentacles energy. And very nice, the bottom card and overall theme of this reading is fulfillment of wishes, guys. All right, so Sagittarius. Let's first start with the energies of the Divine Masculine. So he's coming forward with a firm foundation. Okay, again, this is picking up off of the energies off of the Four of Pentacles. So. He's in a mode of wanting to create stability and security in his life. Um, this is an ongoing way of thinking for Sagittarius divine masculines, I'm feeling. I truly feel that this has been something that he has been working towards 
for quite a while now. Um, he's very focused in where he wants himself to be moving forward into the future. He wants to be um, on solid ground, not only in regard to his career, in regard to his finances, um, the future overall. He wants to definitely set something solid for himself as well as his future family, um, including um, a partner in his life, okay? So he's definitely wanting a sense of security and stability. Um, and I am feeling for my Sagittarius Divine Masculine, uh, for those who are single and or without children at this time, I do feel that that's something that they are wanting in the future. The whole package, um, a spouse, um, children, a happy home life is what I am picking up off of that energy. We also have the waiting game card here, guys, which is the two of wands. Okay, so that is picking up off of the energy of wanting progress in one's life. So again, starting off with that firm foundation card, he's he's a work in progress. My divine masculine is working on himself to ensure that um, he's building security, stability, a good future for himself and his future family that he wants to create. So he has the patience I'm feeling in order to bring that forward. Um, he realizes that these things take time and so he's working on achieving those things. And so he's perfectly fine being in this waiting mode of the uh, Two of Wands. So he's in discovery mode. He wants to make sure that what he brings into his life is solid and good. Okay, so he's a work in progress. Um, he's also bringing forth the energies of the sacrifice card guys here. Okay, so that is the hanged man in the traditional tarot deck, okay? So with the hanged man energy, there's definitely peace of mind that comes from making decisions in his life. And he's occasionally gotten into that mode of self-sacrifice. He's releasing what no longer serves him. He's surrendering and letting go um, and making room to receive good things in his life. So it's really continuing to pick up off of the energy of being a work in progress and um, focusing on creating a wonderful future for himself and those that he will be bringing into his life by way of a partner, a spouse, a soulmate, and eventually a family that he creates with that soulmate. He's in transformation mode right now. He's gaining a lot of wisdom and enlightenment from his life's experiences. And he's a very humble individual coming from a place of gratitude. And that's why he's attracting so many wonderful things into his life. He knows that he can't control every outcome of a situation that comes forward for him. So he's ready to tackle whatever challenges are coming forth when they come. But he's he knows that he's going through a period of transition and change and he welcomes that. He's healing parts of himself that he knows he's had to leave behind. So parts of his life that he knows no longer works for him and that includes relationships that he's had to let go of because he knows that he's in a seat of power and that he can absolutely resolve whatever problems come his way and he knows that turbulent times whatever he's encountered in the past those are exactly where they belong in the past those turbulent times that he's encountered before they've now ended so he's now falling into balance in his life okay this is the justice card um in the traditional tarot deck so He's always wanting to have that sense of harmony in his life. He's been working very hard on himself. Okay, so whenever his life seems to fall out of balance, he knows what he needs to do in order to regain it. Whenever lifestyle adjustments are required, he's open to that. This could also be representative of a divine masculine who is in the legal field. So for some of my divine masculines, they may very well be an attorney or perhaps a paralegal or somewhere along those lines where he is a legal consultant. 
or assistant. This could also be representative of some of my divine masculines going through law related matters at this time. But whatever the case may be in regards to those law related matters, he will come out on top because this comes through with the energies that whatever settlements are going to involve him, he will come out on top and it will settle in his favor. Justice will triumph for him. He lives a balanced karmic life. Okay, he's a very balanced individual. And again, whenever life hands him a curveball that he's not expecting, he easily finds the balance once again. He's able to regain his equilibrium fairly quickly. He wants to move forward in his life. He wants to make good decisions for himself. He's very focused on what he wants. He's very focused on reaching his goals. This particular divine masculine has it together. He's a prize, guys. He's really a prize. He's in good health. Um, he knows how to invest his time wisely. And he's really, truly trying to look at all aspects of his life, trying to understand uh, the workings of destiny in his life and his affairs. He knows that, again, whatever problems come his way, he can resolve them. Okay, he's got a lot of personal integrity and he's a very fair individual. He takes responsibility for his own actions. So if he's at fault in any way in regard to a particular situation involving his divine feminine, he's very quick to admit his mistakes if in fact um, he has made them. Okay, so I, I'm really feeling good energies from this individual divine masculine, guys. He's a good guy very well put together, very focused, um, building a solid foundation for himself and his future and whoever may be included in that future. Now looking towards our divine feminine, she's got foundation and achievements. And look at that photo, guys. It's got a rainbow, it's got a home, it's got what looks like a family facing this home. So she is also in a very similar headspace where my divine feminine wants a good home as well. She wants that happy family life as well. So picking up off of the four of wands energy, this is emanating harmony, a good home life, marriage, a happy marriage. And she is absolutely looking at her divine masculine and seeing that potential in him, okay? But my divine feminine has definitely had her tough challenges in her love life, okay? We do have the transformation card here, which is the death card in traditional tarot, okay? It is a time of endings and new beginnings for her. Um, but she has the courage to get past that. She accepts whatever changes are required to move her forward in her life. She knows that she can't live in the past. And so she's truly working on moving on from whatever held her back in the past, especially in regard to her romantic life. Okay. Um, for some of my divine feminines, um, I am feeling that she is either separated or divorced from a spouse. So for some of my divine feminines, this connection with her divine masculine, this is going to represent a new connection um, aside from whoever it was she shared a family from in the past. Okay, so I'm picking up energies for some of my divine feminines. This could represent a second marriage for her heading forward into the future with this divine masculine. Okay, so that's for some of you, not all of you. Um, the overall energy of this reading, guys, is fulfillment of wishes. Okay, Nine of Cups energy, which is fantastic because this connection brings forth a level of satisfaction, a level of comfort. There is really good, wonderful, loving energies coming from this connection with these two individuals. 
my divine feminine is ready to move forward to a new path and i do feel that with this connection with her divine masculine she can achieve that okay for some of my divine feminines who are in separation and are, are either going through a divorce or are in the process of having just completed that um for some of you that relationship has obviously come to an end but there is still love that remains for that individual and that simply takes time and it's okay to continue to hold love for someone that's no longer in your life okay and just look at that situation as a learning experience and look at it from a loving standpoint rather than something negative that's going to continue to allow you to harbor all of these ill feelings towards that relationship I'm picking up energies from my Divine Feminine that that is not what she wants to do, okay? Even though she's got heartache and loss here, I am feeling more so that she is moving forward from that. She's learned her lessons from that and coming out the other end a whole lot stronger than she was coming into those relationships. I am feeling for some of my Divine Feminines that children um, are a part of that equation. Either she had children coming into that marriage already and or they had children together. Okay, but I am feeling that there is a family that was affected by this. But my divine feminine will absolutely rise from this experience. She is a phoenix in this scenario. She will rise from the ashes. It's the end of an era, absolutely. So I am feeling an end to a pre-existing relationship. And that is where this transformation is coming from. So now she's had to learn to simplify her life. She's possibly a single mom at this point, taking care of her children and absolutely still wanting to welcome love into her life. And that is what her divine masculine represents. She's now focusing on her life's essentials, her personal growth. She's had to evaluate herself honestly and the state of her affairs and where she wants things to go. And she's also had to get very real with her role in what no longer serves her and her role and why the relationship that just broke up ended. Okay, so she's had definitely to go through a transformation. She's definitely going through a journey. And um, I'm feeling for my divine feminines that are emanating with that and resonating with this that you are growing from it and you've learned so much and you're totally now open to the new possibility of starting a new and building a whole new future with your divine masculine and for some of you you will be blending families i'm feeling for some of my divine Masculines, he as well has children from other relationships. So I am feeling for a small group of you that this will represent a blended family. Okay. So it's absolutely acknowledging with this Three of Swords energy from the Heartache and Lost card. It's absolutely picking up off of my Divine Feminine's heartbreak, her separation from a previous relationship and her grief but again i am feeling that she will move out of that headspace and welcome in true love by way of this connection with the divine masculine who truly has it all together because at the end of the day with this crowning card here fulfillment of wishes they're going to be coming into each other's lives and bettering each other not only individually but together as well so she's gonna make it past whatever heartache and loss she's had to endure. Absolutely. The other card that came through for the Divine Feminine is Patience and Planning. Okay, so this is picking up off of the Seven of Pentacles energy, um, a sense of profit. She's got really good vision for herself financially. Um, she's got investments of her own that she wants to um, turn into a lucrative future not only for herself but for her family the ones that that's already here for her children that are already there as well as a future family with her divine masculine that she's connecting with and any future children and family that they create together okay so she's got her own little nest egg going on as well so financially 
she's going to be in a good position as well. And this patience and planning also will be picking up off of my divine feminines who will come through on top by way of divorce settlements and bringing in uh, income from those divorce settlements. Okay, so she's that's part of her equation by way of her finances. All right. So, but at the end of the day, these two individuals are very good for each other. They fulfill each other's wishes. Absolutely. They fill each other's cup of love. Okay. So pretty good energies coming forward from these two individuals. Um, regardless of whatever challenges my divine feminine has endured, really good match guys is what, what I'm picking up here. All right. So let's pull some romance angels messages focusing on the energies angels of my divine masculine first and then we'll pull a card for the divine feminine so angels please bring forth your energies and message for my divine masculine for sagittarius Divine Masculine, for Sagittarius, Divine Masculine Message, please, Angels. But yeah, this Divine Masculine energy, really nice. Let your friends help you. Absolutely. So, um... Ask for and accept support from others. So I'm feeling that my divine masculine, he's the type of individual that really tries to um, carry the load most of the time. He's the type that really doesn't want to ask for help. Um, he feels that he um, can tackle whatever issues and challenges he has coming forward in his life, that he can handle it. Um, because he's such a strong person, but he is actually surrounded by a really great support system of friends and family who are there for him. And my divine masculine, if you're listening to this, don't forget to um, acknowledge your support system through these individuals that absolutely are there for you at any given time. All right. So whether there are if there are challenges that you're facing in regard to your romantic life. Um, absolutely turn to them for advice and comfort, a shoulder to lean on, or simply to, um, to share with them where you're at. Um, they want to know that you're happy and loved and fulfilled in regard to this connection with your divine feminine. So they are simply there as a support system, of course, when they are needed, but really anytime. Okay. Simply to acknowledge and support you at any time. So don't forget your friends and family that are there for you. All right. So let's pull a message for my divine feminine. Okay. Well, we've got a few cards here. Okay. So starting off, we've got romantic feelings here. Okay. Absolutely. She does have these intense romantic feelings for her divine masculine. Absolutely. She is in love and she has such deep feelings for him and that's being acknowledged here. She is calling in her soulmate through her divine masculine. Okay, she knows what it's like to be in a bad relationship or a relationship that no longer serves her and obviously she has moved on beyond that. So she wants to find someone and connect with someone, her divine masculine, that she feels this time is of soulmate quality. And so she's truly prayed about this, especially when she was in a mode of heartache and loss. She's been through some tough times and she's ready for true love to come back into her life by way of her soulmate, someone that she feels is of soulmate connection and for some of you, twin flame connection. Um, She's been doing her affirmations and visualizing true love coming into her life. And finally, she's moving away from the heartache and loss. She's had enough of the pain. Okay, she's going through her transformation. 
and her soulmate is coming in for her by way of the divine masculine. Absolutely. We also have two cards coming through here. So reconciliation for some of you, for some of my divine feminines. Okay. So for, for a small group of my divine feminines, the divine masculine that you're connecting with and or will be connecting with the second half of January is someone that you have known and loved in the past and you felt that they had left your life forever, but your divine masculine is coming back to you. Someone from your past is returning to your life. For a small group of my divine feminines, I am really feeling that this is a wonderful soulmate type connection. Remember the overall theme of this reading is fulfillment of wishes, nine of cups energy. Okay, so that's wonderful. We also have finances and career coming through for my Divine Feminine. So really, it's picking up off of the Patience and Planning card here. She's going to be standing on a good, strong, solid foundation financially. She's going to be okay. She'll be able to take care of herself. But when her Divine Masculine comes into the picture, if he hasn't already, he's definitely going to make sure that she's strengthened even further especially financially. There's nothing that she won't ever want for in her life. She will be well provided for. She'll be good to go. And it's interesting how the bottom card for my Divine Feminine is codependency. So I am feeling for a small group of you the relationship that ended up breaking up could have possibly had codependent behavior from the partner that you moved away from. Um, it does indicate addictions, okay, and that affected your romantic life. So I am feeling for some of my divine feminines, you may have had a partner who was an alcoholic, perhaps um, a drug addict in the family. Um, there was some sort of codependent behavior here that really um, affected your marriage, your relationship, and you had enough and it was time to walk away from that. So understandably, this heartache and loss, you needed to go through this journey. But I am feeling for my divine feminines going through that or have had gone through it. Um, you've, you've survived and you've come out on top. Okay, you made it out of that time of your life. And you are in transformation. So you're now going into a very good time in your life. Welcome in this foundation and achievement card. Okay, representing once again a very happy home life, a successful marriage this time around. Okay, that rainbow doesn't come through for everyone, but it it's here for my divine feminines. So that's really nice, guys. I'm loving that. All right, so Sag, let's go ahead and close out your reading with some healing messages. Okay, so whoever needs to hear these messages for my Sagittarius viewers, whether divine masculine, feminine, or both, whoever needs to hear these healing messages, it is meant for you. All right, so angels, please bring forward for Sagittarius your healing messages. Healing messages, please, for Sagittarius. Healing messages, please. And I, I'm picking up off of the energy from some of my um, Divine Feminines that you're shocked about this reconciliation because you really truly felt that this person was never going to be a part of your life again. But I'm telling you, I'm picking up the energies for some of you that someone from your past that you felt was your soulmate is coming back and they will finally fulfill your wishes. Okay, so hold on to that thought because that's a very strong energy coming forward here for a small group of you. Okay, so now here are some healing messages that came through. So we're starting off with the Freedom card. All right, with the Freedom card, 
Um, to me, this represents absolutely financial freedom. Absolutely, that's coming through here both divine masculine and divine feminine doing quite well financially building a future to have that freedom um to not have to live paycheck to paycheck no struggling um in regard to that and in regard to my divine feminine i truly feel with this transformation she has broken free from what no longer serves her okay so i'm picking up off of that energy we have celebration coming through here. I am feeling with this connection between the divine masculine and feminine that it's it's a really good connection, guys. There's a lot of love here. Definitely soulmate connection is what I am feeling here. Um, I'm feeling a lot of invitations heading forward um, the second half of January and on to the first half of this year. There's going to be a lot of celebrations, a lot of invitations for this couple. Okay, so a lot of fun times ahead is what I'm feeling. Divine timing also coming through here. So you can't rush things from happening. They happen when they're meant to happen. So in regard to this romantic connection, it's going to escalate and uh, move to a more co committed level when it's meant to. But I do feel that this is going to happen sooner rather than later for these two people. Because I feel that the desire to come together and to fulfill each other's wishes, it's intensely strong, guys. Okay, they want to fill each other's cup with love. I'm feeling that here. And absolutely, this makes sense, how we have the intention com card coming through here. What you intend to happen will happen. What you focus on is where your energies are directed towards. And both of these individuals um, have the intention of coming together and loving each other and building a good, solid, firm foundation with each other and the eventual family life that they want to create for themselves. And the bottom card here, guys, is focus. Okay, we have two very focused individuals here. Again, my divine masculine, he's got his act together. Okay, he has ensured that he is building a good, solid foundation for himself and his future spouse and children, future family. My divine feminine is also focused on bettering her life, her finances, her career, also rebuilding from what no longer serves her. She wants to have a happy home life once again with her divine masculine. So both of these individuals are truly laser focused on making their dreams come true and fulfilling their wishes. I feel it here, guys. I feel it for my Sagittarius, Divine Masculine and Feminine. It's, it's a great reading overall, guys. Very, very good positive energies coming from both individuals. All right, Sag. So that is my reading for you for the second half of January. A lot of really nice messages coming through here. So I hope that whoever gained some um, insight from this, I hope that it really warms your heart and helps you somehow. All right, guys. So I will be back in February with more readings for you. Um, uh, again, a reminder, if you're interested in the free reading giveaway, turn in your entry. You've got until January 31st to do so. All right, guys. So um, I will see you soon with more readings. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.